everyone. Hope you all are doing good. Today, I'm going to explain about performance analytics, data flow, and implementation plan. Okay, so let's see. Let's see how data flow. Okay, uh, so first, a business process tables. Okay, so the users will interact business process tables like by creating incidents, project, cases, changes, all these things. Okay, so business process tables, we will get the data inside the business process tables. Okay, so from there, what happens? A collection job. Okay, data collection jobs. Okay, like historical data and current today's data. Okay, so it will collect the data. Okay, the data collection job. Okay, and stores in a performance metric tables. Okay, scores. Those are called scores. Uh, it will take the snapshots daily and it stores that um, data okay in the performance metric tables where it will convert into scores okay using this course okay we can build an indicators okay okay the score will display in indicators okay okay from there from the indicators once we create an kpis or indicators okay or, so then we will place all these indicators together okay in that incident manner like a, a dashboard okay so this is the data flow from business process table collection jobs performance analytics tables okay from there it will convert the scores into the pictorial views visualizations okay and then all the visualizations together in a dashboard Okay, that is how the data flows in the performance analytics. Okay, next the implementation plan. What, how do we implement? Phase one, plan and prepare. Okay, how do we plan and how we prepare? Identify the business process you want to improve. For example, uh, incident management or problem management or change management, which one you want to improve? Okay, define the process improvements targets. For example, uh, you are getting a number of incidents like per month, like 100 or 200. So you want to set to minimize like 100 only, okay, per month, not 200. Okay, so those are the called targets. Face view, review best practice content. Okay. Uh, before you create anything, okay, you you got you got like plan and prepare, okay. For from this phase one, you know what to do, okay. And phase two, what you need to do is you check in the out of the box if you have any analytical solutions created out of the box, okay. Okay, review the best practice and check on license settlement and activate application solutions. Okay, uh, if you check out of the box analytical solution and check the license you have or not and activate applicable uh, solutions or content pack. Okay, in the, in, in the phase three, configure and collect. Okay, if you have uh, if you have a solution in out of the box, no need to configure, you just need to collect it. Okay, and if you have, uh, if you don't have any out of the box solution, you need to configure like very configure like uh, all the indicators, indicator sources, queries, everything. Configure process of snapshotting that is called data collection. Okay, collect it. Phase four, visualize and share. So once you configure and collect the data, all this data will store in performance analytics course. Okay, how do you want to show? uh the report the widget okay scores to the uh stakeholders in a visualizations okay start with out of the box content and later customization so for example if you have any out of the box uh, uh dashboards or widgets okay so use that if you want uh, some customizations use do the customization by copying the out of the box content okay and then socialize the dash dashboard and seek stakeholders feedback. Okay, share with the uh, uh, stakeholders and feedback. Okay, that that's about um, how you can um, 
or plan well, that this is called an implementation plan okay so the phase one phase two phase three phase four okay and the that's it okay yeah that's about uh, data flow and implementation plan for today's section okay yeah thank you please do subscribe to get alerts for upcoming videos hope you will enjoy and learn service now thank you very much for your time